we're starting this video in the car because because of hurry. Hurry. Because of hurry, Urgent. we have to get there. Drink more coffee. Uh. Go, go, go. breakfast burritos because we're too busy and running out the door too quick to make breakfast in the morning. Can you eat that whole thing? No, I can't. You can't? <laughs> I uh, only ate half of it yesterday. Uh, so instead of eating the other half, I bought a new one. It's better than <laughs> cereal or pancakes. Ninety-one. Ninety-one? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, okay. I'll take some details down too because when we bought it, it would have just been painted and then we went to touch it up and uh, okay. pretty much ended up, well, we never really did much with it, using it. But okay. So shuttle shift, forward reverse? Shuttle, yeah, that's, this is the shuttle. Oh, the shuttle's over forward. here. Forward. It would be neutral. Okay. First is over and forward. Second. That's Controls are simple. You got your downriggers. Yep. And then this is the extend a hoe. Okay. Boom. Dipper and bucket. You know, pretty simple stuff. And then the swing is, is, is with your got feet. Got it. Yep. For me, I just think it's just more junk to the Right. Well, in the lag, it's like a little bump. Jesse gave me the thumbs up. I don't know what that means. What does the thumbs up mean? Oh, everything's good. I mean, I'm not gonna dig in and excavate a foundation or yeah. anything, but. Probably wouldn't appreciate an 18 foot hole. <laughs> he said dig anywhere he over here. He did say that though, He so. did not say how deep I could go. Yeah. I do want to check the depth, but maybe not today. Maybe another day. <laughs> How's your roasty? I'm pretty toasty, I'll, I'll get that. I don't okay. know what just happened. I think we, I think we may have put money down on this piece of equipment back here. It matches your shirt. It does, you know, I thought about that. <laughs> Things girls think about. All right, so it's a pretty good adventure. I think we can talk more about it either later or in the car. Off to get the funds. Super good news. We're broke, but we just wired the funds for the backhoe. You have to get up. You have to get up. Oh. Don't know why. Because the backhoe's coming. Because the backhoe's coming. Is it really? It's on its way. Really? Wow. Yeah. Well, oh. in about an hour. They'll be here in an hour? It'll, well, they're going to leave in an hour. Okay. So you have time to brush your teeth, and I have time to brush my teeth, and we both have time For coffee. to drink coffee. Okay. Better hurry. Mm-hmm. There she is. Bugaboo, have you been on the backhoe? Okay. If does. I go looking for kitty prints, am I gonna find some? I wouldn't be shocked if he was on mm -hmm. it. Bugaboo, come here. Bugaboo kind of strikes me as a backhoe kind of kitty. He has sap on his butt. Oh, he has okay. sappy butt. He's gonna show me his belly. He's gonna do it. Oh, he's, oh, he does. He needs to have that cut off, Mom. It's probably annoying. Oh, yeah. Probably. When we first started this project, funds were limited. 
that's probably an understatement. We've been working hard. We had a financial strategy, but it wasn't perfect and everything costs a lot of money. So buying a piece of equipment was zero possibility. A yeah. lot of things were a zero possibility. A lot of the first two years, we aren't even quite at two years, but the first couple of years we've been at this is all validation. And that's why we didn't run out, part of, part of why, many, many reasons, but part of why we didn't run out and buy a piece of equipment because we feel like a lot of people get in too deep too fast and they set themselves up for failure. And so we wanted to kind of just work, Alyssa and I, we did a video. I think we talked about that in some video. Yes, it's why why we built a deck and a hot tub before a house. See, gosh, time flies. We talked about why we've been doing these small projects and how we needed to learn to work together. We needed to learn what skill sets each other has. We needed to kind of figure out whether we could do this type of a project or not. Not only that, I feel that I didn't understand what we need equipment oh, for. There's a deer walking behind Alyssa. Yeah. It's hiding behind the tree yeah, back can't there. can't see it on that lens. Hold on, I'll try to zoom in. <laughs> That's all you get, folks. That and my double chin. Yeah. But it's trying to sneak back there. Okay, yeah, sorry, gosh. So I feel before, like, or Jesse would have suggested we buy a piece of equipment on day one, my panic alarm would be going off, but we've been at it long enough for me to understand how we're really limited by renting, and yep. I think this will be a great asset to us in our life. And Something that we've learned is that there's no such thing as a perfect piece of equipment. Every piece of equipment has its place. So the backhoe sometimes is a better piece of equipment, the excavator sometimes is a better piece of equipment, but through using those pieces of equipment, we've learned a lot about what equipment can do what and what value it brings to our property. The biggest drawback to renting for us wasn't really the cost because you have to understand when people always say, oh, just buy a piece of equipment, they don't talk about maintenance and upkeep. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a hydraulics guy. I don't have every snap-on tool in the industry. And so working on these big pieces of equipment is not something that we're tooled up to do. And unfortunately with renting, you know, you don't, you don't have to worry about it, but ownership, unfortunately you got to deal with it. If your hydraulic cylinders are blowing or leaking or, you know, something's not working, you got to deal with it. And so while people say, oh, just buy a piece of equipment that comes with a lot more responsibility when we rent it, like we've had, we had issues twice with the backhoe that we rented and we said, it's your backhoe, you fix it. Which they did. Which and they did. They'd often credit us the day or an extra day or whatever. They'd compensate for the downtime. So yeah. if it's our own equipment, we have to take care of it. On the other hand, it opens up a lot of possibilities that we don't have when we're renting. So this means, like right now, it's perfect. The 100 degree heat is gone. Yeah. We have probably two or three hours of working time if we want. And you could just jump on the backhoe and do some work. So yeah. I feel like... I don't know. There's no right answer. I think it just depends on where you're at in your life. It's circumstantial. There is yep. no, anybody who says one way or the other and they're a purist, don't listen to them. They're full of garbage. We, f we will probably still rent equipment. I mean, just because we have a backhoe doesn't mean we don't ever have to rent equipment again. We're now completely free of all rentals, which is baloney. Sometimes you need something that can run, uh, do something a backhoe can't do. But um, one thing we have learned is that renting creates a tremendous amount of stress because what we do is we create projects until, you know, we're over up to our eyeballs and stuff. And then Alyssa and I go like crazy trying to get these jobs done. We always run out of time. Basically, we have to re return the equipment before we're ready to give it back. Mm -hmm. And that creates a lot of half done projects. Now, some of the projects just take a while and that's just the nature of the beast, but it starts to really weigh on your mind. So the mental side of it, but let's just say this, if you don't have the funds to buy equipment, then it's not even an option. These folks that are like, just go buy a backhoe must be spending monopoly money or something because I don't know who has twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 just sitting in their bank account doing absolutely nothing. And it's like, oh, let's go buy equipment today. That said, what we did was we had been looking for equipment for months, probably yep. six months. And we had never actually stopped to look at any. I'll say that. We just well, been... it wasn't, I would say there wasn't any available for what we were looking for in yeah. our general proximity. Yeah, not in the price range we were looking for and not near us. So I guess that worked out pretty good. We never had to go test drive one. Um, what we did was we looked and looked and looked and this was circumstantial. It just showed up one morning and we happened to be on our way to, to go look at other stuff. And we said, we got to go look at this. And that's the other thing that we'd recommend. If you see an opportunity like this, jump on it. Um, whether those folks are telling the truth or not, they say they were getting a lot of phone calls on this piece of equipment and they said they felt pretty confident it would sell that weekend. So when you get a piece of equipment, move, yep. right? Go. Uh, so as far as financing goes, um, 
you know, we were in a unique position where we had some help from family who were willing to help us purchase this piece of equipment. And it's not free. Uh, we have to work very hard. We're very independent and we're strong-minded people. So uh, we do see that as credit, unfortunately. But we had uh, tallied a number. We said we probably would spend about $6,000 this year. Whatever, thousands of dollars. And that was only for a piece of equipment for a few few weeks total, Yep. right? So we'd only have it for and maybe three weeks and... total. But we figured if we could, and because we're in the position we're in, if we could buy a piece of equipment, it would off put the stress and we'd be yep. spending that money on equipment anyway. Not, not to mention if we were to rent, there's no saying that the weekends we need it for, which are getting limited at this yep. point, no saying it's available. Especially as winter's nearing, people are using equipment or if the project yep. runs over a day, we can't keep it. So we have to knock the project done because someone else is picking up the equipment the next morning. That's happened more than once. Yep, where we're hoping they'll let us keep it for another day. We call in and they say, no, it's already been reserved. Yep. Why a backhoe? Because it's it's mobile. It's something that we can plow the driveway with, we can help neighbors with, we can do construction with. We didn't want to just buy a tractor. We weren't looking for just a piece of equipment. We wanted something that we can use to build with. It needed to be versatile. If we were going to buy a piece of equipment, it needed to be suitable for what we're trying to do. And a backhoe we have found is probably the most versatile piece of equipment for what we're doing. We didn't look at smaller tractors because they're not a good investment for us. They're hard to resell because you sell them a lot of times to a homeowner. You don't sell them to contractors, things like that. This backhoe will sell very, very quickly whenever we're done with it. So we felt that this was probably the best investment for the money and within our budget. So some things that we felt were really, really critical on this unit was an extend a hoe and we felt that that was unique because it actually adds to the resale value. It's not really something that we plan to use necessarily, but we felt that it helped with the resale value. Four wheel drive was a must for us. Um, getting a cab wasn't as important, even though we do plan on perhaps plowing snow in the winter, this was not a deal breaker for us. Four wheel drive was more important than having the enclosed cab. Ask me that in the winter. I don't see Alyssa getting in here all bundled up warm clothes and running out and plowing the driveway. I have pretty warm clothes, so. Yeah, 16 I, I, below so I, I kind of agree with the don't do the clothes cab thing. Yeah, so this unit actually has a little over 6,000 hours on it. It's a 91 case 580K. These pieces of equipment have been on construction sites forever and we felt really confident that this would probably be a good piece of equipment for us. We gave it a good test drive at the uh, seller's house. We, they let us dig a hole in their yard. Um, we wanted a good size bucket. That was pretty important for us. So uh, just looking for things that you know, were, were deal breakers. Um, it's got a very nice diesel engine in it. It's a Cummins diesel. And we know that those are, are reliable engines and hopefully we'll get lots more use out of it. How big's the bucket? I don't know. It's about a I'm three. Five, four. It's about a three Alyssa bucket. That's pretty good. You know five, what I just realized? Bucket. If we ever Alyssa play bucket. hide and go seek, <laughs> wait, how am I gonna do that? If we ever play hide and go seek, I want to get in the bucket and then I want to raise myself like really high up. But the problem is you can't raise yourself up when you're in the bucket. Alyssa has proven to me that she's more than capable as at equipment operation. Uh, one morning I remember sleeping and I heard the backhoe fire up and I'm like, what? What's that? Huh. You know, and I go out there and poor Alyssa, yeah, she was she was chewing at the the. Uh, I think it's it's not hard. I'd say equipment yeah. is very intimidating to me, and the backhoe that we typically rent, I'm not really yeah. comfortable with it. And because we're renting, I don't have time to learn because yep. getting the job done is more important than learning, unfortunately. So that's one reason I haven't ran equipment yet. True. Is because we don't have time. Yeah. So it's 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 unfortunate. But. And Good. For a lot of those, there, I want to throw this out there and maybe you can tell me if I should just shut my mouth. Okay. But you know what? For all those anti-men people out there who think I'm just a jerk face and I let Alyssa do a lot of manual labor, first of all, I, I guess I don't even have words for you. Yep. Like I would love to meet you in a dark alley and we'll work this out because that's pretty disrespectful and I take it really personally. But second of all, that's part of why Alyssa ends up doing a lot of the non-equipment stuff is because the clock is ticking. I can do a shovel. And yeah. a lot of the stuff we're doing, it's not that hard. It is work, but yeah. this, you do have to be very skilled, especially with the New Holland. It's very moody. It's, it's twitchy. Not, it is sensitive or yeah. not sensitive, it's whatever twitchy. one's worse. Yeah. So that's not something with the projects that we're doing, like lifting cisterns in the hole. Like I'm not going to do that. And I don't trust Jesse standing under the cisterns. Yeah. I probably trust Jesse a little too much with that thing, but I would rather be doing a lot of the labor at this point than running equipment. But you still get to run the equipment though. 
mm -hmm. you don't get to run it all the entire time it's here and I'm down in the trench because I'm lazy. Right. It's because I do have experience and we're paying real money to have that yep. equipment on this property and we have jobs to get done and it and, has to And get I done, feel that so. I could do a lot more damage with this than I can with the shovel. I can't get too out of hand yeah. with a shovel, but I could just like run into something. Whoops. Poked a hole in the cistern, now what? <laughs> yeah, but I'm excited for you to get a chance to run this. It's actually a completely different control system, so you're going to yep. get frustrated again. But you'll learn. It yeah. just takes time. <laughs> you'll get to the point where you can yep. reach out and grab things, no problem. Yep. So we have a lot of jobs for this lined up. We've got the sawmill. We're working on getting our beams milled this year. So we're going to have a logger dropping logs off just behind the backhoe here. And thankfully, we do not have to do the death trap yeah. Uh, method we were using before. It wasn't that For dangerous. What, logs? Yeah, it wasn't that dangerous, but it it, it was is dangerous. But it was. So we're, we there. Right. A lot of stuff we can do without equipment, but now we're rigging up all sorts of things with pulleys and trees yep. and trucks, cable snap. I mean, there's potential for things to go wrong. So yeah. is this a lot of money? Yes. But when you look at it from yep. the aspect of protecting ourselves and using this to do a lot of the hard work, we enjoy hard work, but we don't love taking unnecessary risks because we are our best tool and we're yeah. trying to save money like not this year but over the course of this home build and we're trying to acquire wealth and build our property and get equity and all that stuff so this is going to help us do a lot on the other list uh come this way okay i want to show you something so we've got a couple other urgent tasks that need to get done the backhoe is basically going to be be running pretty fast here if i can get the focus to work oh today uh, not tonight. Okay, we've probably got not to, tomorrow. We Maybe gotta eat dinner. Saturday. We haven't run. even. Dinner's canceled. Saturday will run. Stay tuned for that video. We got something exciting coming up there. Um, yeah, so this is happening Grizzly 3.0. So one or the other of these videos is gonna get published first. <laughs> so this is Grizzly 3.0. We're making some huge modifications to that. And what's super exciting is that we're nearly done with our water system. And I'm pretty confident by the time you see this video that our water system videos will be all wrapped up. Oh, come on, Bugaboo. Hey, buddy. It's because it's cool out here. We've got to get this trench back filled. We've got to get this fill all cleaned up, all this stuff. And our, our old Grizzly, well, we just laid it to rest. It's done. But we've got to clean all that fill dirt too. And we've got to put our sand luge together, which is at the top of the hill, and um, our, our sand luge 2.0 so that we can get this upper portion of this trench backfilled because that was all dug with our pneumatic uh, excavator, which we'll link to over here if you haven't seen that video. It's pretty fun. That was a totally wild adventure. Anyway, we've got a few more plumbing parts to put in here, and then it's time to bury this once and for all. Well, we've been out doing concrete and a lot of other stressful task today we haven't eaten dinner and uh crazy thing we actually have a couple other videos that we need to get wrapped up we because we're over our achievers. apologies like we're i think i calculated we have like 15 videos that we've already shot and i probably and, shot and three a week for us is a lot with our current schedule yeah. so chances are when you're seeing this we did this a month ago. Chances are, we're trying to get yeah. caught back up again. <laughs> and I shot three more videos today, so I'm uh, I'm gonna assume that's like a week of videos. I'm gonna assume that you guys want to say thank you to Alyssa. If <laughs> if you appreciate the videos, please say thank you to Alyssa. She does 99% of the editing because I'm swamped with other tasks. Um, plus, her editing's better. Who are we kidding? Not really. We're just different. Okay. Um, we gotta go. Bugaboo's gonna do something on camera that we don't want to share. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll see you later.